welcome to its traffic so in this video we, i am going to discuss a few more c program for your practical examination class 9 computer science so the first uh, question is write a c program to find simple interest now uh, you know the formula to find a simple simple interest is principal into rate into interest sorry time divide 100 so to find a simple interest we have to take this three input from the user principal rate and time so first we'll write the header file include std io dot h then main function int main after that uh, braces inside braces will take variable will take all the variable as float will have principal rate then time and simple interest si now we'll take the value of p r and t so first we'll write printf enter the principal then slash n i think you know why i'm using here slash n semicolon scan f and here we'll write percentage f and we'll store it in place of principal p then after this semicolon now we'll copy these two line because i am going to take the input for rate and time also so to save time we'll just paste it two more time and here we'll change the statement like enter the rate enter the time or duration whatever and we'll change the variable also here r and here t now we'll write the formula for si si equal p into r into t divide 100 now we have to print the result so print simple interest equal percentage f now in place of f i am going to display the value of s i so semicolon and here return zero so now let's run the program so asking me to enter the principal suppose i am entering 1500 and rate is 10 percent and time is five years so the simple interest will be seven thousand oh sorry uh, seven thousand five hundred i my principal is fifteen thousand so after five years in ten percent we have to return simple interest as seven thousand five hundred so this way we can do this program now we'll go to the next program write a c program to find the area of a rectangle now see to find the area of a rectangle we'll need two values length and breadth and one more variable area so we'll write here enter the land and here l and in next printf statement we'll write enter the breadth and in variable also we'll write b and the third printf statement will remove from here it's not required and instead of si this line also we are going to remove here we'll write area equal l into b and instead of simple interest we'll write area 
equal percentage f and here area so this is our program to find the area of a rectangle so now let's run the program and turn me to the uh, land suppose it is 12 breadth 5 so the area is 60 12 into 5 is 60 so this way we can do the second program now the third program write a C program to check if a number input by user is odd or even now here we will record if statement so we are going to remove all the statement from the previous program we will take a variable int num we will take the value from user print it enter a number slash n now we are going to use scanf statement scanf percentage d because it is an integer that's why percentage d and we will store it in num and person num semicolon now we are going to use if statement if num modulus 2 equal 0 if we di will divide the number by 2 if we find the remainder as 0 then we will display printf printf even otherwise else printf odd so this way we can do the third one now let's run the program suppose it is 5 odd again run it is 8 even so this way we can do this odd and even program now we'll move to the next question write a C program to accept two numbers and display their product now here we record two numbers so we'll write here and 1 and 2 number 2 and for product PR and here we'll write enter the first number and here we'll store in and 1 and this line we are going to repeat and this if statement we don't require so we are going to remove it now in here we'll write enter the second number second number and here we'll write and 2 in variable now we'll calculate it so pr equal n1 into n2 now we have to re uh, re display the results so print f print f product equal percentage d and uh, the value will store in pr so pr semicolon now we'll run the program so enter the first number first number is uh, 4 second number 8 4 is uh, 32 so this way we can do the fourth program now we are going to the last program write a c program to print your name and address in different line using single printf statement so we don't require any variable for this program we are going to remove all the statements except return 0 because this line is required now we are going to write directly printf statement print f first uh, we have to display the name so we can write name is to then your name whatever suppose uh, old Gupta I think you know this name then slash n then address have to write a double d r e double s address silicon or just write this for any address you can write so when I am going to print this uh, program it will display in separate lines you can see here oops I did I mistake the semicolon so you can see here name all Gupta address 
this proof. Now, if we do in place of n r, see what happened. The name part will be skip. You can see only address. Now, in place of r, if we give t, then see old Gupta, then uh, a bit more space than this one. Now, in place of t, if I give v, means vertical tab. Let's see. Here, old Gupta in next line address, and you will get little more space. <coughs> now let's give a. So did you listen any beep sound? You will get a beep sound. First it will display all Gupta, then one beep sound, then the address. A means alert. Again I will run the program and I will try to So I think you have listened the beep sound. So by A you will get an audio alert. So this way we can do some simple programs in C. And if you have many uh, any other programs that uh, I should solve for you, you can write in comment section. In next video, I'll try to do it. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.